Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody sent me this file. And it's a wine carrier, well, wine bottle carrier, and it needs to be an eighth of an inch longer and an eighth of an inch wider. So what we're going to do is make a Control D, Control D duplicate of this box. In case you mess up. As a matter of fact, I would save it right now. It's wine box two or something. We're going to have to change the door. Let's go to object group and ungroup. We're going to have to change the door in the bottoms or the side ends separately. These are all symmetrically in length. And if we will look to see how long they are, this one right here is, remember that number, 12.953. Now, there's a, either a one-step process or a two-step process of this. The first thing I'm going to do is change my nudge distance to one inch, and I'm going to separate these guys by an inch because I'm going to need to grab them later. I'm going to go and go to Object and Ungroup. Then I'm going to take a two-point line holding down my Control button. If you will start moving and then hold down your Control button, you get a perfect line. Now, it doesn't matter where I'm at as long as I'm not in a, a tab or a, <clears throat> the male or female part of the tab, <clears throat> and I'm even going through this, which is evidently the slide guide for the, for the door. Now, this whole thing is 22 inches. I'm gonna make my nudge factor 24 inches. <clears throat> control D and make a duplicate and move it over. Okay. Now I'm going to take my virtual segment delete key and I'm going to delete the top half of this. I got too close to the edge. It actually snapped. Let's take away snap to object off for a second. That way it won't snap to the line. I'm going to take away the middle on this one. And I'm going to take away this end on this one. Matter of fact, I need to I'm trying to think what I need. Here I got that. There I've got the top. Whoop. There I got the top. And here I have the top. That's all you need is the three sections. Now I'm going to take away my lines. I was a little bit confused there. So now he wants it an eighth inch longer. But we're doing two cuts, so we're going to change it to, basically I'm going to, one eighth is 0.125. I'm going to go to 0.13, so half of that is 0 0.065. I'm going to grab the bottom, and I'm going to move it down. I'm going to grab the top, and I'm going to move it up. Now I'm going to change my nudge factor back to, ooh, what did we put, 22? Nope. Must have been 25. Must have been 24. You're going to think I'm nuts very quick on the draw here. Okay, we've got the box now. That is, and I wish I would have written down that measurement. Now it's point, or it's 13.08. Should be an eighth of an inch larger. Now we're gonna take our nodes and select all our nodes. There we go. And you can see our double nodes. I'm gonna select this. Go up to Windows, Dockers, Join Curves, and I'm going to set it on 0.13. <clears throat> Anything below or 1.3 and below, it'll do a join. Everything bigger, it won't hurt. So I'm just going to swipe through and join them. Voila. Now we have a box that is an eighth inch longer. And this is why I wanted to be able to grab them. 
because now I can control G. That's why I moved them an inch apart. Control G, control G, control G. Now our boxes are perfect. The tabs have not changed. They're still gonna fit together, but we made it longer. Making it wider is gonna be the same principle. You just wanna, I'm not gonna make a video on that. You just wanna cut right through here and right through here using the control button. And then you're gonna make three copies and I am gonna show you how to get to that point. Just move these over. And matter of fact, you could move those uh, things out of the way for a second, but I don't think we're gonna interfere with them. Now, how do you get these lined up? You hit C on your keyboard and that put it in the center. You wanna go put your lines right through here and right through here. I'm not gonna take the time for the video to do that, but you would do the same thing. If it didn't have to be symmetrical, you know, cause your tabs in the middle, you could just do it once. You do not wanna do it where your tabs are cause then your tabs are larger. Then you're gonna do the same thing on the wine box in. It was a little bit shorter, so I elected not to do it. But if you put your two marks here and just expand it out, you know, in this particular case, we might be able to do this on this one. Let's go to object, convert it to a curve. And I said we could do it. Let's make sure we can. Let's ungroup. Yes. Okay, we're gonna change our nudge vector back to 0 0.065. We're gonna take our tabs, our two nodes, and just nudge them up. We're gonna take these four and nudge them down. We've made it longer. It's a little bit shorter than the other one. Now, this would be very helpful when doing it this way. We're not having to cut anything apart. And now we made that one is correct. That was easy. On these, I think you're gonna have to do it. Well, you know what? You might be able to do it. I was thinking you're gonna have to take the logo out. Group, ungroup. Convert them to curves. Yeah, we're gonna be able to do this exactly the same. Grab all the nodes you need to and move them up. See, you zoomed in, you can tell it's moving quite a bit. I hope I'm on, yep, I'm on the right amount. Now we just made the ends longer and wider. Same thing on there. I don't know what the holes are for. Uh, this is where the box lid slides into. Anyway, I'm almost 100% sure that's going to work once you've done your, your width. You can't really do it on this one because we have the slots and you can't just expand it out. You're going to have to do the cutting on these. And I would actually maybe take these out of the way because they don't need to change. So you could take that one right there particularly and go to group, ungroup, and grab those two rails so you don't have to mess with them when you do down the middle. Just think about you want to be right in here and right in here. You don't want to be near that or in the middle. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.